Hello and welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we're looking at the Obi-Wan Kenobi six scale figure by Sideshow from the Clone Wars. The exterior of the box is going to have a painting representing Obi-Wan on a desert style landscape with multiple starships above. The back of the box features a photograph of the figure inside. This is a shoebox style design. When we lift the top off, both the upper and lower tray are held together by a cigar band style closure that says Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi on top. Now let's take out these trays and see how it's laid out. The top tray is going to have our Obi-Wan Kenobi figure, his lightsaber with the extended blade as well as the lightsaber hilt, and the hologram projector with Commander Cody. The lower tray, his display stand, and eight swap out hands. Let's take this all out of the tray so we can get a better look. Here we have our Obi-Wan figure. The lightsaber with the extended blade, his lightsaber hilt, the hollow projector with Commander Cody, four sets of alternate hands, his display base. But right now, let's take a look at the design of this figure. Now our figure out of the box comes wearing the Jedi robe and the hood can be placed over top of the figure. That fabric is gonna be in that beautiful crushed velvet. But in order to show off the rest of the outfit, we're gonna remove the Jedi cloak so we can see the rest of the design. We begin our look at the figure right here at the portrait and what makes it so unique is that it has that animated style that we saw in the show replicated now into physical form. We get these really nice tight sharp angles particularly around the beard and the straight lines that were part of the design particularly where the mustache meets into the beard. We get the bright look of the eyes. We get those curves and swoops in the hair as well and the kind of uh, right there on the cheekbone you're going to get those unique angles. Even the design on Obi-Wan's ears has a very deep ear canal look to it. Working our way down and we look at the costume of the figure. He's going to have that traditional dark brown undershirt and then the tunic over it. The tunic is all comprised of kind of a crushed crepe style of cotton giving it a great texture that of course mimics what we saw in the show. Down around the belt, all of it is sculpted and permanently attached. Here on the left side is going to be the clip that you can attach the hilt for the lightsaber on. The back of the belt you see is attached via Velcro and if you needed to remove the belt in order to adjust or move any of the long parts of the front tunic, you could. Now the front two pieces as well as the back two pieces of the tunic all have wire throughout allowing you to pose it and give it much more life and action for a fighting Jedi. The pants are going to be done in a silken type fabric and in a khaki type color. They are permanently tucked into the boot which tapers down into a smaller ankle style. Again, what we saw in the show. Sideshow was able to access all of the design elements from the show and allow them to create a spectacular representation here in physical form. The paint job on the boots does have that leather-like look with a hint of muddling and just a little bit of wear. And now let's take a look at how articulated the Obi-Wan figure is. We begin articulation up at the head. We have a ball joint that allows us to swivel, lean, and tilt. The shoulder has a butterfly joint, you can move it back and forth, lift out to the side, up and back. The elbow extends past 90. We have a cut bicep allowing us to swivel the arm in and out and a traditional wrist peg design. Lifting the arms to the side, we can take a look at the chest and torso. We're able to turn and twist side to side, lean, as well as crunch, and extend. Now for the hips and legs. We can move the leg out to the side, forward, back, Rotate the leg outward and in. The knee is double jointed. 
We have a cut boot design, and that allows us to lift and lower the foot, rock side to side, as well as turn. The figure comes with two sets of different force wielding hands, relaxed hands and lightsaber holding hands. And all of them are going to have that white armor on the top of the hand and that unique angled design on the fingers. The lightsaber with the permanently extended blade and the lightsaber hilt. And on the back end of the hilt is going to be a small button that will allow it to attach onto the belt. The hollow projector with a translucent commander Cody. And lastly, a traditional figure stand. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi six scale figure by Sideshow from the Clone Wars. For more information about this figure, follow the link below. And for more six scale posing action, make sure to tune in to Unsealed and Revealed. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show. Did you enjoy that video? Be sure to subscribe by hitting the S icon on your screen and click the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.